Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create, backup and restore your catalog in Luminar Neo. Recently, I have received many requests for this topic, so I thought I'm going to create a tutorial to make it clear for everyone. Now, most parts of this tutorial will apply to Mac and Windows users, and if there's going to be a difference, I will mention it. Now, starting from the beginning. Let's talk about the actual catalog you're using right now and the one that comes when you first use the application. Now Luminar Neo creates a default catalog when you first launch the application. You can use this catalog for all your photos or you can easily create new catalogs and switch between them. So why would you do this? Well, imagine that you have one catalog for your family and friends photos and one catalog for your professional work. Another reason could be that you have one catalog for every new year, like something that many professional photographers do. Now, Luminar Neo catalogs can be located anywhere on your hard drive. However, by default, Luminar Neo creates catalog in your pictures folder. A catalog contains a database of images, location thumbnails of these images, and a history of all adjustments applied to the images. Now the catalog doesn't include a physical images and if you want to back them up, I will tell you how to do that at the end of the video. Now coming back to the current catalog and looking at the easiest way of how to locate it. As you can see, we are in Luminar Neo and we are in a catalog module. Now navigate to the top of your main toolbar and here click on file. In a file, click on catalog and here in the catalog, click on show in finder. This will open a new window, so we just make this a little smaller and bring it over and it will open a window with the location of your catalog. Now the catalog itself is the file with the Luminar Neo at the end, however all the other folders and files come with it and they need to stay together. So this is where your current catalog is. Now we can make this smaller and we can make it bigger again. Now let's talk about how to create a new catalog. So let's say that we're going to create a catalog for your professional work. To do that, we need to go back to the same location on the top of our main toolbar and here click on file and catalog. Now, if you are a Windows user, instead of going to the top of the main toolbar, you should see a Luminar Neo icon here. You click on it and the rest of the path will be the same. So coming back, file, catalog and new. Once you do that, you will be prompt with a new window where first of all, you have to find the location where you want to save your catalog. Save it somewhere safe. For us, we're going to use this folder here. We have already prepared. And here we're going to create a new folder for this catalog. So again, we want to use it for professional work. So let's click on new folder and we're going to call it professional catalog. Once we're happy, we click on create and we make sure that this folder is selected. The second thing you need to do, you need to name the catalog. So you're going to go on the top and here again, we just call it professional catalog. Once we're happy, we click on save and Luminar Neo will create the catalog. When you save the new catalog, your current catalog will be closed and your new catalog will be open. You can now use it and you can add new images to it. So now we have a two catalogs, but how are we going to switch between them? Well, if you are working with multiple catalogs, you can quickly switch between them. 
And how to do that? You just go back to the same location, click on File, and then Catalog. In a Catalog, as you guessed it, you just click on Open, and you navigate towards the location where is your old Catalog. So for this, we're going to click on Pictures, and I know that the Catalog is here in Luminar Neo Catalog, and I am using the Catalog Neo right here. Once I select it, I just click on Open, and it will open it again. So as you can see, to switch between the catalogs only take a few seconds, and there is even faster way to do that. For this, you're going back to the same location, click on File, Catalog, and instead of going through the Open and the rest of the path, you just jump into the Open Recent, and you can just select the catalog you want to open. So as you can see, we have our professional catalog here. So we just click on it and it will open the new catalog in just a few seconds. If we want to navigate to the one before, you need to do the same thing. Just go into the file, catalog, open recent and select the catalog. Again, a few seconds, it opens and it's ready to be used. So now we know where is our current catalog stored, how to create a new catalog and how to switch between them. So the next thing we need to talk about is backing up of your catalog. Well, Luminar Neo constantly backup its catalog as you work with it. This ensures your latest edits are stored. However, you may want to manually backup a catalog in case your hard drive malfunctions. It is a good idea to backup your catalog to an external drive or a cloud storage. The backing up of a Luminar Neo catalog is really simple. And the initial process is the same for Windows and Mac users. Well, first of all, we need to go back to our main toolbar on the top of the screen and again click on File, Catalog, and Show in Finder. This will open the window with the catalog. And here we just need to use Command or Control A to select all. And again, use Command or Control C to copy it. Now, navigate towards the location where you want to back up your catalog. So, in our case, Let's just go back to the same location. And here we're going to create a folder called Catalog Backup. Now, it's a good idea to add a date here. So today is 20th of July 2022. Just hit Enter, open it, and simply paste the catalog here. It's going to take a few seconds. It's going to copy over. And now I have the catalog saved and backup away from its original location. Once all the folders and files are copied, you can close this location and go back to Luminar Neo. Now, if anything happened to your catalog or the hard drive, you can always use the backup to restore it. To restore it, it really is just as simple as switching between the catalogs. You would go back to your main toolbar, click on File, Catalog, open, then you navigate to the location of the catalog. So in our case, again, right here. Now we have our backup catalog here. So again, you open it, select this catalog and click on open. Now, of course, it's going to take a few seconds to open and the pictures are going to be exactly the same as we just back it up. However, this is the fastest and most straightforward way of how you back up your catalog in Luminar Neo. Now for the Mac users, there is another way of how you can backup your catalog. So for this, again, you would go back to your main toolbar on the top of the screen and click on File. In a file, of course, we're going back to Catalog. And as you can see on the bottom here, we have two options, Backup and Restore from Backup. You can click on Backup here and it will again open a new window. From here, you need to navigate towards the location where you want to make your backup and then select the name of your backup. You can keep the default name. However, I always suggest to add a date to it. So again, for us, we would call this 20th of July, 2022. Once we're happy, we can just click Save. Now, depending on how many pictures you have and how many edits you made, this may take anything from few minutes to few hours. This is why I personally prefer the first way, as I think it's faster and more straightforward. Once the backup is finished, you can keep it in the new location in case you need it in the future. For us, if you would want to use it to restore your catalog, you would go back to the same location, top of the main toolbar, click on a file, again catalog, and then click on restore from backup. 
Again, it will open a window where you need to navigate into the location where is your backup catalog. Simply select it and then click on Open. On the next screen, you need to choose the location for this catalog. So again, we are in the same location. And in this case, we would call Restored Catalog Folder create it and inside we can just call it Luminar Neo Restored. Once we're happy, we click on save. And again, it will take a few seconds to load everything and prepare it for you to be able to use it. Now, as you can see, again, the images are same as we just backed it up. However, this is the second way and only available for Mac users of how you can backup and restore your catalogs in Luminar Neo. Now, before I'm going to let you go, I want to talk about backing up of your actual physical images. Again, to make sure that we understand each other, the catalog doesn't actually include the images. They are stored on your hard drive and in your folders. If you want to back them up, what you need to do is you need to export them into the new location. So what you would do in this case would be you would select your images by using Command or Control A, and then you would use the export option where you can click on share to disk and then navigate towards the new location. Now in the export options, you have two options on how to export and backup your images. You can use the JPEG files. They are smaller and easier to manage, but you will lose some quality due to compression. Or you can use high quality TIFF files that are archival quality, but they are also much larger. So it's really up to you what you want to use. If you want to export JPEGs, it's going to take a fair bit of time. If you want to export them as a tips, it's going to take lots of time. And I suggest you to do it at least overnight. So this is the way of how you create, switch, backup and restore your catalog in Luminar Neo. I hope it's going to be helpful. However, of course, if you need any help, make sure you leave me a comment under the video. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.